Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Join me in prayer. On my heart, imprint your image, blessed Jesus, King of grace, that life's riches, cares, and pleasures never may your work erase. Let the clear inscription be, Jesus crucified for me. Is my life my hope's foundation, and my glory and salvation? Amen. The Holy Spirit calls us together today not to recall some past event, nor to ponder an idea, but to participate in the ever-living reality that Jesus Christ is no longer dead, but is risen. Alleluia! Jesus Christ is risen. The old is gone. Behold, he creates all things new. But it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't feel like all things are new. Death still comes to us all. Wars still rise and marriages are still strained. It's hard to look at this world and confess the present reality of Jesus' resurrection. It's a lot easier to live in this world and accept things the way they are. The world and its master, the devil, want you to forget, doubt the resurrection of Jesus. The devil reminds you every day that you are a sinner who deserves nothing but death. He wants to scare you to death, defeat you into doubt and anxiety. So forget about the resurrection of your supposed Lord, says the devil. Live for this world. The devil be silent today, for Christ is risen. We don't say Christ did rise, but he is risen. Jesus Christ is risen today, we sang as we entered the church. A past event, merely a past event, does nothing for us. We're not saved because we believe in history. Praise Jesus for that. We forget history every day and live for today. Do you live differently? I mean, does Jesus' resurrection change the way you live your everyday life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed? Does it really matter that he rose? No. None of us live differently. We still lose our temper. We still act as if we matter most and our neighbor doesn't matter at all. You're the same old sinner, just a different day. It sure doesn't seem like Jesus' resurrection has done much for us. This is the world's sermon, the devil's agenda, the old Adam's thoughts. It's easy to look at this world and look at ourselves and question the reality of Jesus' resurrection. In fact, I didn't ponder it much this week, and I'm the one preaching on it. I think I spent more time and thought this week on the fact that my wife is making me eat ham today instead of lamb than I did on the resurrection of my Lord Christ. That determined my days more. So we either are guided by our bellies or we try to figure out it all ourselves. Don't look to this world for answers. And most definitely don't look to your own progression in righteousness or massive lack thereof as proof of Jesus' resurrection. Instead, hear the words of St. Paul to the church in Corinth. So if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. They have become new. Anyone be they young or old, male or female, patient or short-fused, 
confident or depressed, Cubs or Cardinals, State Farm or Country, ISU or Wesleyan, every Sunday church goer or church or Christmas and Easter Christian, all who are in Christ are created anew this day, right here, right now. In the resurrection of Jesus and the proclamation of it. Rejoice then, for this day Christ is risen. Death wrote a check it couldn't cash when Jesus rose on the third day. For Christ, our triumphant, crucified King, this day, not just 2,000 years ago, but today is risen from the grave's dark prison. And because He is risen, death is overcome. Your sin is forgiven the devil is eternally defeated. Christ is risen, and this day calls you to be in Him as you receive the blessed means of grace. For when you doubt Christ's resurrection for you, don't go off and think about it, or the worst thing you can do is stay away from church, <laughs> thinking you're not good enough. You're not. Praise the Lord for that. Rather, come instead and hear the words, I am baptized. Not, I was baptized, but I am baptized into Christ. I am a child of paradise. Come, live in Christ by receiving His body and blood prepared for you on the cross and this day distributed to you at the blessed table. You are a new creation today not by some decision you've made to change your ways, no, but rather you are new, the slate wiped clean in the declaration of your forgiveness. Be at peace. Because Christ is risen, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Him, and He uses that authority not to guilt you, not to burden you, not to be your taskmaster. No, instead, He adopts you and makes you something new, an eternal child of both his Father and your Father, his God and your God. This day you and I live in Jesus' resurrection by receiving the gifts he won on the cross, the gift of unconditional forgiveness, eternal life, and ransom from this world and the devil. Be at peace, beloved. Christ is risen. He is no longer dead. Death is defeated. The devil cast out. You are eternally his. Your name written in the book of life, carved in stone, written in blood forever, and it shall never be removed. For as long as Jesus is risen, so shall you too rise on the last day. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.